right, welcome back everybody. It is Run Streak Day 74, December 16th. And there's still a little bit of snow on the ground. More ice than snow at this point. So I'm gonna take it nice and slow today. We don't wanna slip and fall and jeopardize the run streak, of course. It's cold though, 22 degrees, and feels like eight with the wind chill, or eight or nine, something like that. Either way, really cold. But still gonna go out and hopefully have a good run. Maybe four miles or so today. We'll see how far we can get. So far, the uh, wind hasn't been that much of a problem, but the ice has been. I'm slipping all over the place. I'm really going slow at this point. Now they've salted the sidewalks. They've done a pretty good job, but there's still ice patches all over. So just trying to be super careful. I came over onto this side of town to the East Village because I was thinking that the sidewalks would be better than just about anywhere in town. And they usually are, but Again, they're still pretty icy, pretty nasty. We'll deal with it. So the movie we watched last night was A Muppet's Christmas Carol. That was actually a really good movie. Really good, Inga fell asleep halfway through. So she didn't even make it through her own movie. Now, the good news is I have, think I found a way that I can uh, get one of my movies picked tonight, hopefully, and stop this cheating by Inga. We, I have seven movies left, she has three. That's how many she's gotten so far, that's crazy. But I'll show you my new method later. over here by the river it's very uh it's icy but it's not like slick icy which is nice i uh, i'm not wearing my little clampons or yak tracks as they call them today probably wouldn't have been a bad idea i should have grabbed them i have two pairs i keep one in the truck for hiking at all times and then one at home of course and if you don't know what yak tracks are they're basically little things that you strap to the bottom of your shoes usually they're made out of rubber so they can stretch to conform to the bottom of your shoe and they have little metal grips sometimes spikes or sometimes just little pieces of like um, spiralized metal that'll give you traction on very slippery surfaces like ice snow things like that they're very handy and very inexpensive so i usually recommend them in the winter of course i was running on the other side of the bridge here and i looked across and that bald eagle that i usually see flying around is out by the water so I'm gonna try to get a video of him he is huge massive and yeah, unfortunately the minute I got to the middle of the bridge where he was flying around and he was flying pretty low at the time he took off he's probably pretty wary of humans or something apparently because he took off quick in the other direction so I didn't capture any footage of him sorry So to clarify on that, on the 5k streak versus the general streak, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what I'm talking about, on day three of the run streak, we ran one mile. After that, it's been all 5k or longer. So 3.1 miles or longer. Now during the run recap, I'll put up the total stats for the uh, run streak and you can see I'm averaging, I think it's at four point, 4.36 miles per run at this point throughout the streak. So we're doing pretty good in that sense. We just hit 21,000 feet of elevation gain. So that was pretty awesome as well. They were not 
happy with me coming through. They were very comfortable laying in the middle of the uh, path there, but sorry guys, you gotta make room for me too. I'm going down to the spot where I was the other day where it was all flooded. I just wanna see if it's a sheet of ice or what. What happened down there? Did it drain out? We'll see. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be frozen over for the most part, which means I may not be able to get through there and I may have to come back up and around, but that's all right. Well, I was wrong, it was all drained out. No water there really. Ooh, this part of the trail I'm on right now though. It's just a thin sheet of ice. I'm having to be real careful right now. I can feel my feet just slipping. So I'm kind of running probably like an 11 minute mile pace right now. It's going super slow. So I'm at 3.75 miles right now. I'm gonna go a little bit further and then go up to the main road and back home that way because I wanna hopefully hit my uh, average of about 4.36 miles and I think that'll do it. We'll see. Right, made it back 4.3 miles, so just a hair under the average, but close enough. It's good enough, I'll take it. 4.3 miles, I don't know what the pace is. It was probably really slow. I'll have the Strava information up obviously. But yeah, it was a fun run overall. A little slick in places, really had to watch out. I think I am going to grab my uh, clamp-ons for tomorrow's run if it's similar conditions to this just because it's not worth, you know, getting hurt, getting injured, twisting an ankle or hurting my knee or something like that, falling on the ice. But yeah, we're going to go up, warm up, take a warm shower. Okay, so it's time to figure out what movie we're going to watch tonight. Now we're doing it a little differently. I'm not just drawing them out of a container at random. That doesn't seem to be going in my favor. If you look at the list, there's nine movies left on the list. Two of these movies are Inga's, seven of them are mine. So the odds that one of my movies will get picked tonight should be pretty good. Now we're at maressential.com, which is actually a website that I made a while back. Um, basically it just shows like how to use different things in JavaScript. And I happen to have a random number generator here. Make sure it's set to nine and it's gonna pick a random number between one and nine and then we will know what movie we're gonna watch. Uh, now, if you're interested in JavaScript or whatever, you probably know exactly what math.random is. If not, more or less, it's just a JavaScript function that will indeed help you pick a random number. And all the code that I used, by the way, is all shown here for anybody who's interested, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video. We are going to find out what movie we're gonna watch right now at a click of a button here. Movie number eight. Oh yes, The Long Kiss Goodnight. It's definitely time to watch that movie. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. This is gonna be great. All right, let me show you what we're having for dinner here. We got five potatoes that have been chopped up and they've been marinating in Italian dressing. And I also threw in some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, some black pepper in there and some dried minced onions as well. So we're gonna bake these at 425 for about 35 minutes. Okay, our potatoes are all done. They came out looking pretty good, although I did have to bake them for like 10 more minutes, so it was actually around 45 minutes, not 35. But they came out tasting pretty good, pretty crunchy. Also got some veggies to go with them, some green beans, some Brussels sprouts, and a little bit of corn as well. And we're gonna top that with a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Should be a good meal. All right, well, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button if you like this video and you want to see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you want to support this channel. Ring that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care.